Okay, so I got asked the question, like um, one is in a beautiful state of possibly infinite peace and grace and bliss, not really uh, identifying with thoughts, and yet work is coming up. So uh, how do you how do you transition from um, from being in a state of you know oneness bliss non attachment non identif non identification with thoughts and stories to what seems to be like you know I demand you know what work brings up probably managers work colleagues uh, money stuff uh, different personalities. Um, so I, what's my view on on if that situation well for me it's a thing of course uh one thing to bear in mind is not nothing can take away a state of infinite presence shall we say or infinite beingness or isness except identification uh with form so what what do i mean by that identification with form is like the, the the ego mind has interest in various thoughts to get hooked into and involved with or hooked into or identify with feelings also various projections of what, what does a boss mean what does a colleague mean what does money mean what does being a worker mean so the, those all all those meanings can uh, if they're not yet transcended within the ego then in a new environment they tend to get identified and then the, the the experience of the loss of infinite peace or presence or stillness so how do you deal with that well that's usual um if there are situations which haven't yet been transcended and the attachments are deleted then uh as, as soon as one is in that environment the ego tends to latch onto them and it and it seems like the infinite presence is lost because there's thoughts and grievances and all kinds of and all kinds of people walking around that are being hooked into so how do you how would i deal with trying to move into a new environment um without getting hooked into all the stuff and losing losing the bliss losing the peace the presence and so it's a case of um so there's various different tools but I would just say that and on a practical level it just involves uh before you go in there I mean if you've had an interview that's really really great to uh have a have an idea of the atmosphere of the workplace some of the your boss some of the colleagues uh and get a feel for all the things you need to transcend you know did the boss seem difficult or nice or if though if if you know if you walk into a room and there's no identification with a person you don't stay you don't um you don't lose the state of infinite presence because they're so boring or meaningless not worth tracking that that piece isn't blocked but if there's meaning projected onto them and there's thoughts and feelings and there's a backstory of what a manager means then all of that starts to get identified with so it has to be cleared um so there's clearing that i would do before work because you've already probably met some of them or talked to some of them I've got an idea of what kind of culture and expectations so all of that can be cleared before work starts you know uh, we can do the course in miracles like um uh you know it could i mean it just depends what are your thoughts but it could be i cancel my belief in uh in needing money for survival i'm an infinite being subject only to what i hold in my mind I cancel my belief I can't survive if I get fired you know those would be some of my ones uh, I'm an infinite being subject only to all I, I cancel my belief that uh, my employer and work situation is the source of my survival I'm an infinite being you know like if I walk if I walked into an environment where I had no expectations outcomes or wants then it can't stop the infinite you know it's only the ego baggage that gets flared up and hooked into that creates um that creates the story that the loss of bliss is experienced because it's all kind of so you just you're just clearing so what are the clear so I, I talked about cancelling of beliefs there's other course lessons you can apply that we'll be using I'll do them on all of them like if you know the names of the managers your colleagues start cancelling pray ask for a miracle to see it differently or pray to see uh or just surrender them into God's infinite light and love whatever it is so just start until and you keep doing that until it feels like there's no more ego story left and that will go a long way when you go into work for clearing any heavy bag any heavy identifications um 
now at work of course you probably won't clear them all before work starts but you try you can use the observer as well you just go okay i'm feeling anxious work starting in three days well who's witnessing the anxiousness and what is the I? And what's witnessing the I that I am that is anxious? Okay. And then you go into the infinite. And then you might get hooked back into the story and then go back into the infinite and observe. Uh, is the observer of, of thoughts and fear and projections of the future? Is the observer, um, does the observer get, is, is the observer of fear fearful? Is the observer of anxiousness anxious? Is the observer of all thoughts is that is that um, is that uh, limited by thoughts that are passing by? Do, is the observer vulnerable, or is the observer free from all that stuff? And if it's not free, then what's observing the observer? Is that observer get does that observer get hooked into any stuff? Does any stuff exist in that place? So you use the different m methods, uh, or if you're in a twelve step program, you can do step tens and share with your sponsor, uh, you know, I'm afraid of this, I'm resentful about this, and what, what not. You're just doing it until you can't really, until even bothering, you can't even have a resentment because it's all gone, uh, or the fear is all gone, and you can't even think about the situation because it's too boring to think about. Now, you do that before, and then at work, you know, I, I, in my experience, people will probably come up to you and trigger you in certain ways, like you get rehooked in. They'll say something, and then that, and then you can practice either the observer or the counselling or the prayers. Pray for a miracle to see them differently, you know, whatever it is. So you keep doing that through the thing uh, to dissolve any attachments, identifications, uh, until nothing in there, um, nothing in there hooks you out. You can maintain the bliss. Uh, there is actually nothing in there that can hook you out unless you've given it. Um, you're only subject to it unless you allow it to be meaningful to you. It, once the meaning is uh, dissolved through whatever mechanism, then it can't hook you up. So, you know, um, one way to do it is just visualize visualize what it is, and or try and bring back the fears, and just keep keep uh, praying to the Holy Spirit to tell you what you need to counsel, pray, and uh, observe until they no longer exist. You'll know that they no longer exist because as you do the work, there won't be any, you can't remember the problem. You go, work? I and mean, what's work? I mean, I, I forgot about work for a few days. I couldn't even think about it. Now that's transcendence. So you, the meaning that uh, your ego attaches in the story is dissolved. So I would just do it. You know, if it's like, if it feels like it's meaningless, uninteresting, and not worth that hooking into then you probably don't have to do any work or transcending or observing because there's nothing there to grab onto that the the, the ego projects a story onto so you know uh and you know later on in this group we'll be having an opportunity to practice the observer and counseling and everything which is the uh, one you know to help release everything that limits your experience of the limitless that is the purpose on one level to this group. You know, what is limiting you? Well, let's uh, let's release that. Uh, and until there's only that which is limitless that remains. Uh, so, yeah, wishing you miracles with uh, any new work as well. <laughs>